Minecraft Equestrian is Abigail Pinehaven's new Minecraft server. Whether you're a Minecraft veteran or have just started playing, here is everything you need to know to hit the ground running. AKA my personal beginner's guide from my personal experience, I by no means am the richest, the most played or even the best on the server, but I think that I know at least the beginner's basics. <laughs> Before we get started, I highly recommend joining the Discord server if you have it. You can get announcements, ask questions, and see more information such as the rank requirements all in one place. I can only show you guys step by step on Minecraft Java Edition on my PC Windows computer. However, over here in the Discord, they do have game info for Minecraft, I mean, <laughs> Java and Bedrock. Here is the Bedrock, which I can't show you guys because I don't have Bedrock at least installed. <laughs> I believe people were talking in the Discord that to be able to access multiplayer on if you're using a Nintendo Switch, it is slightly different, but I'm sure there is plenty of tutorials, even if they're not specific to Minecraft Equestrian, to how to actually access Minecraft servers on YouTube. Minecraft is a massive game, there is so many videos already. But for Minecraft Java Edition, you need to use 1.19.2. You can see that I use Fabric Loader because of Replay Mod when I do my little fancy building montages and stuff. But if I click on, if you do, if it says something different here, just click on it and you can see latest release. Yours will probably just be like this, just 1.19.2 latest release. That's all you need to do and click play. Once you are in Minecraft, all you have to do is click on multiplayer. Yours will probably be empty, but I've got all of my things. Go down to the bottom and click add server. The server name can be anything you want. You don't even have to name it Pinecraft Equestrian. You could name it Little Horsey Game. <laughs> and in server address, type pinecraftequestrian.com. For the server resource packs, leave it as prompt. You, They do have a custom resource pack which adds a bunch of like horsey retextures and stuff which are kind of important to the game. So once you've done that, just click done and you can then go ahead and just click the play. As you can see, it is connected to Pinecraft Equestrian. There's five people online and everything. You can just go ahead and click play. The first time you log in, there is a tutorial for you to play. It will tell you about the rules and you get your very first plot and horse pack. Once you have finished this tutorial, you are left in Pineton. You can explore around the town or get straight to Minecrafting. Because Pinecraft is an SMP, survival multiplayer, once you leave Pineton, you will need to fight the elements such as zombies and creepers and go mining for all of your supplies. I will talk more about some alternatives that might work for you later on. Go ahead and click the T on your keyboard to enter the chat and type slash TBR or slash TP random to be teleported randomly around the world. You can use this to find an area you want to build your house at. Here are some tips that I have for you. Have an idea of what you want around your home. Depending on your situation, you might only ever get one plot stake, meaning you have to at least like your home location. To give you an idea of my basic checklist, it was a plains biome or a flat area, however I wanted it to still be pleasing to the eye. Possibly a river nearby and I was hoping for a forest nearby so that I could create some trail rides. Be careful not to be too close to someone else. Your plot stakes aren't allowed to overlap and you never know if someone else is thinking of expanding. The TP command is limitless, it might take a while but your perfect location is out there. Once you have found your home location, you can use the slash set home command to be able to teleport back anytime with the slash home command. If, for whatever reason, you need to remove this, then use the slash rem home command. Once you have found your home location, you will need to learn about how the plot stake works. The free plot stake you get from the tutorial is 70 blocks by 70 blocks. However, you can buy more on the Modern Metal webpage. More about it later. 
Please note before you claim anything that you cannot move your plot claim after placing it. So once again, be super sure you are happy with it. Holding the plot stake item in your hand, right click to activate the plot claim item and a visual boundary will appear. From where you are facing, the plot stake will be placed forwards to the right of you. If you are unhappy with this, then right click again to cancel the plot and try again. Once you are happy, left click and type yes to confirm the plot position. After claiming your land, it is yours to keep for the next 6 months. After this lease is up, you will need another plot claim, which you can buy from the black market, from other players or on modern metal. I will talk more about money later on. A fun fact is that if a creeper explodes on your plot, it doesn't cause any damage. This is absolutely life-saving. Use the slash plot panel command to view your plots. Here you can hover over and find out the plot ID, size, when it was created and when the lease expires. Click on the plot to find a member section. By doing slash plot add and a username, you can add another member to your plot. This means they can break blocks and such. This is how I allow my brother to live with me. Non-member permissions are for those visiting your plot. I have allow doors enabled, so if any of you guys want to come visit, you can have a look around. There is also things like break and place blocks, but I personally would be careful enabling these permissions on your land. Toggling visual boundary will show where your plot extends to, much like the plot draft before. Finally, there is teleport to plot, which does just that. I have my house set to set home, so I usually just use the slash home to teleport back, but if you have multiple plots, you can use either this button here or use the command slash plot TP, the idea of the plot, which you saw by hovering over it, in the plot panel section. To view all of the commands you can do with your plot, simply write slash plot in the chat. I'm not entirely sure what the game mode means, I think it might be only for special people. <laughs> this isn't specific to Pinecraft, but if you do struggle building, then there are so many amazing step-by-step -step tutorials on YouTube that you can follow. These help you to understand what might look good in a build, so in the future you will find yourself not needing tutorials anymore. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, zooming through the sky, little lines towards... <laughs> now you've gotten yourself set up let's talk horses using your first horse kit you get all the essentials from a saddle lead saddle pad and blanket to the most important horse spawn egg to use it, simply right click anywhere, then choose the horse. I accidentally spawned my horse inside my house when I clicked on a chest, so I can't really explain all the different coat colors, as my brother also did the exact same thing. <laughs> You can also buy more tack and riding clothes from Pinton. Some of these are craftable, but you do need iron and more for that. Some people might also sell them in their own shops, but we will get to that in the command section. When riding your horse, you can see its speed and jump level, and also how much longer until they level up. There is an energy bar which is depleted whilst riding, but feed your horse hay, sugar carrots, or more to replenish it. You can grow this food or buy it in Pinton, or other players just like the tack. To rename your horse, make sure you are sitting on it and use the command slash horse rename and enter the name that you want. Your horse will despawn if you go too far away from it, for example, if you travel back to spawn. But not to fear, let me show you the horse panel. When riding, you can use the riding crop to go faster or slower. Simply left click to go faster and right click to go slower. Use the command slash horse panel to bring up all of your horses. Hovering over the slot will give you the ID, name, breed, gender, XP levels, and energy. 
Clicking on the horse slot will give you access to the spawn buttons. You can click to spawn the horse and despawn the horse. Persistent spawn means your horse won't automatically despawn. These features can be used to teleport your horse around with you. For example, simply go to slash warp stables and when you're there, spawn in your horse and jump over the pre-built fences. It is important to note that sometimes you have to wait a few seconds before the horse spawning becomes available. You can also sell and teleport to your horse. Selling your horse is next on my list, so more on that in just a moment. I haven't been able to play around with breeding yet, but from what I know, you obviously need a male and female horse and two breeding potions. These can be bought on the modern metal shop, sometimes other players will sell them, or you can visit the shady guy at the docks in Pineton who sells a few items. These do seem alarmingly expensive at, per at first, but I would talk about money in just a moment. When breeding, the foal will take on the mother's coat and breed. On the screen right now is the step-by-step -step for what you have to do once you have those breeding potions, but I feel like that's for another video when I actually unlock breeding myself, I suppose, but yeah, that is how it is done. The final horse commands I want to talk about is the ability to let others ride your horse. My little brother is like my stable hand, so I pay him to help me train some horses, or at least that's the plan we are still setting everything up. Using the slash horse ad, then the horse ID and the player ID will let others ride your horse. Change ad to kick to do the opposite. Just like plot, use slash horse in the chat to see all of the horse commands you can do. The horse market is a great place to buy and sell horses. You can buy a horse spawn egg from Modern Metal, including a fjord. I haven't seen any fjords for sale in the game, but they might go really quickly. Use slash warp H market to get quickly to Pineton. You can click on the person at the entrance to get guidelines and how to sell horses, but basically, spawn your horse and enter the pen with the amount of money you are selling them for. Open up the horse panel and click on the horse and then you can click on the sell button. Then choose between the ribbons, how much you actually want to price the horse. Please note that your horse must be priced for at least $5,000. You also have to feed your horse once per real life day, otherwise the sale will be cancelled because your horse is set to be persistent spawned, so it needs to be fed. To buy a horse, walk up to it and right click. You can view the ID, gender, breed, and also the XP levels. I come over to the market every once in a while because sometimes you can find some really nice horses which aren't too expensive. Now to buy horses, you're going to need money. The best way I have found to make money as a beginner is by mining, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but on this server it's actually really easy. It might take a while to get the hang of, but once you've got a bit of iron, here is my routine. I make a few iron pickaxes and go to find a cave. The TP random command is useful here as well. Also, if you die in Pinecraft, you don't lose anything. You keep your inventory and all of your XP levels, and you can even use the slash back command to go back to where you died. So do not be afraid of the cave life. Experiment, my little brother and I went mining for about an hour to an hour and a half, and this is how much stuff I got. This is with an iron pickaxe, no enchantments, but there is like inbuilt enchantment type things, which I'll explain in just a second. Once you finish mining, use the slash home command and get smelting. Then use the slash warp bank command and go directly to the bank to sell your ingots. You might notice that this takes forever, but here is a tip for selling stuff at the bank. Change your keybinds to a letter such as R, like I showed in the video. The selling just goes so much quicker, you're going to be there for so much less time. Some things to know about mining. In Pinecraft, certain activities have levels, such as mining. Once you get to a higher level, you start getting a little bit of extra ore from mining, and there's also like little enchantment type things. <laughs> Holding your pickaxe in your hand with nothing, literally nothing in your offhand, right click and you activate super breaker. 
I'm not super knowledgeable in these levels yet, so let me know how they work in the comments below if you know them in more detail. The best ore to level up this skill is copper, and despite only being worth $2, you can find absolute stacks of it, and it all really does add up. Money isn't everything in this game if you don't want it to be. All you need is enough to fulfill yourself. You can spend money on items such as iron and wood, but if you're inclined to do so, you can still go mine it yourself. I wanted money to be able to buy horses to train and hopefully turn a profit. Another way to make money is to open your own shop, but that's definitely for another video. Otherwise, there is the auction house. I like to check the auction house for any good deals at least once every login. You can find literally anything on there. To sell stuff on the auction house, hold it in your hand and type slash AH sell and the price you want to sell it at. Remember, real people are buying these items so they probably aren't likely to buy a stack of seeds for $1000 but hey, if you want to try then be my guest. I don't make a lot of money from here so mining is where I've got my fair share of money and trust me, it was hours of mining. There was a moment I found one of the best caves I've ever found, there was copper everywhere. I got so motion sick but I kept going for over 2 hours in this one cave. It was then another hour with just smelting everything but I got tens of thousands of dollars. Just. I've always found more copper than coal, so smelting can be super annoying sometimes. Another way to get money is chat games. The, as you can see, chat games come up every so often and it says something like the first to unscramble something, the first to fill in the blank, letters. Sometimes it's a question about Abby's channel or about the server, like what is the town on the server called. If you fill it in first then you go ahead and get $50 and you also get a little bit of XP depending on how fast you answer the question. You've probably heard me say modern metal quite a few times in this video. Well Abigail partnered with them to add perks to the server. You can buy lots of things on the website. To find the website simply use the slash shop command. This does cost real money but you get 50 stars for free and every day you can vote on five websites getting one star per vote. To vote simply do slash vote in the chat and visit all the websites. You also get one diamond per, per vote and you have the opportunity to get some special items from voting as well. If you do this every day by the time your plot lease is up you have more than enough stars to buy a new plot claim without spending any real money. This video is getting pretty long, so let's talk just about some commands I use very often that I might have missed. Let's talk some extra commands which I might not have mentioned before in the video. So the first one is slash p warp. If you this if you just go ahead and click enter, then you can see you can warp to people's houses. So currently Flickers is a house that you can teleport to. This does actually cost, you can see it, the teleport cost is $25. There's also some shop warps here which I spoke about before so you can go to the basic shop, nat shop, kitty nook and there's just a bunch of shops here so you can go and see if anyone is selling what you are looking for. There's a barn warp and some of these barns are free to put your horse to and they will look after your horse. Some of them cost money as well. Most of these are advertised on the discord server. Riding facilities, there's currently nothing here and some other warps here which are warps that you can go to <laughs> if you ever wanted to talk in global if i talk right now and just say hello you can see there is an l next to my name for local that means people only local in your area right now can see what you say so if my brother was still online right now then he would see what i said if he was with me so if you want to talk to everyone you have to shout which can be a toggle shout or you can just do exclamation mark and type whatever you want imagine if i sent that <laughs> so if you have any questions go ahead and include exclamation mark and just shout to the world and see if anyone has your answers in the game the next one is if you want to tp to someone so if you ever see that i'm online feel free to tp to me sometimes i do accidentally miss it in the chat because if people are talking then it can go quite quickly but it, if you want to ask me you go slash tp ask and you put my name just another pixel just like that if i'm online then it will come up like this and you can just click on it otherwise you can tp to anyone now if you get tp'd to 
if someone asks a TP to you, you're gonna have to slash TP accept or slash TP deny. <laughs> the last one that I wanted to talk about in this video is slash balance. Balance will bring up how much money you have. Pretty simple like that. There is a couple of other commands. If you look at help, there is a couple of things uh, here that you can look at. Slash AFK, that's a good one. Slash AFK will mean you are AFK. In my name list, I will go gray so you can see when people are AFK like Winterwolf. And go AFK slash AFK again to become un-AFK. This is super helpful because when you are sleeping, the server lets everyone sleep if there is 60% of the players online sleep. If you are AFK, this does not count. So if you do not have a bed near me, if you do not have a bed near you, if you do slash AFK, then it will be kind of like you're sleeping and you can still help people out if they're really wanting to sleep, you know? That was all so much information, but take it all one step at a time. You will get there. There is so much more I could shove into this video as well, but I think that covers the absolute basics of beginning your journey. You can always ask questions in the Discord or even in the game chat to people online. Everyone has been super helpful when I've had questions, and I hope to see you guys online on Pinecraft Equestrian soon. On the screen right now is my first time playing Pinecraft Equestrian if you want to check it out. It has my first reactions, our first build, and also our very first horse.